we're all just enjoying the moment and not really thinking about anything else. And uh, it's good that we're all young and experienced in this. And, you know, it's, uh, it's only going to make us better in the future. What kind of legacy do you want to leave when you're finally finished with basketball? What would you like your career to say? Uh, to who? Your career. I mean, for me or for somebody else? For basketball. What kind of legacy would you like to leave? I mean, I'm just... Score that can a guy that can score from everywhere, a guy that can um, you know pretty much play a, a few positions, just versatile. Um, I don't know. I mean, it depends on what you're looking at. Like just what I do on the basketball court. Or, yeah. Yeah. I just want to be known as a guy that can be relied on on both ends of the court at any time, at any angle. You just the second longest tenured guy on this team now. Trying to think. When did Andre get drafted? Uh, he's, he's, he's yeah, I think he had three years. Okay, but Livingston, uh, I'd like to. I'm to think, Who? Yeah, Sean, too. Sean, Sean, Sean got three years on the team. You're getting to that point where you're <laughs> yeah, I'm the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that a lot weirder than just a 30th birthday? Just yeah, that is. Be... I mean, because you, once you hit 30 in NBA years, you feel like you're getting older. And I try to not think about the NBA side of things or just look at it from how my body feels. But when you're walking into a locker room now, you got guys that have been who are Jacob, born in 97, oh. <laughs> you know? And it's like, uh, man, I was the young guy in the locker room for a long time, you know, so to kind of kind of see come full circle. And it's pretty cool, actually, but it's also pretty weird. You ready for a 2000s baby to be Ooh. in the league? That's coming soon. Man, I know, I know. It is coming soon, and uh, but I guess I just got to be prepared for it. What do you think Andre's role is going to be like? I mean, his value is well established, but just knowing there's so many more younger guys this year on the team. Uh, Andre looks good in practice. Yeah. You know, his body looks great. He's uh, moving fast. He looks great. You know. Coach, you know, usually controls, you know, how guys you know, practice, playing. You know, him and Andre have a, a great relationship when it comes to that. But I think he'll be good. Same role off the bench, defending. If he needs to start, I'm sure he'll be ready. But he's been doing a great job of like helping the young guys out. He's the best at that. Right. What, what challenges did you guys go through last season when he was out for that extended period of time, obviously, in playoffs that just kind of really <coughs> illustrate what it means when he's on the floor? We missed his voice. We definitely missed his, uh, his length and on the defensive side and being able to get off the glass and push, um, something that we rely on, especially in transition. And, um, so you've seen how valuable he was not being on the court for us. Um, but his uh, leadership, just his mentality as a player, uh, rubs off on all of us, especially the younger guys, and just sets such a great example. The narrative that CP not getting hurt keeps him with a run, but people seem to forget sometimes that Andre got hurt too. Do you get, do you get a kick out of hearing that narrative, or does it mean anything to you at all that people trying to replay that? No, not really. Um, There's just situations, circumstances that happen in basketball. I mean, we wasn't expecting CP to get hurt or Andre, um, but that's just the cards that we were dealt and we just played. Evans was drafted largely because of his defensive versatility, but do you think he could be a really solid shooter in this league? Do you think he has the potential for that? Yeah, for sure. Um, I like his mechanics. I mean, he's confident. We just want him to shoot when he's open. We want him to be aggressive, and um, we trust him when he gets that ball. So, you know, he's uh, he's got he built that confidence at Cincinnati, and hopefully he carries it over here. I mean, it's the same thing. We just want him to be him and play his game. And, Hopefully he's uh, he's confident not going to shot. Great. Thank you, sir. Is uh, is it going to be weird to, to be thirty? No. Have you even thought about just that digit? And, you know. uh, Seventy more years, to live. Seventy. You're going to be on the flyer, right? I hope so. That's the goal, right? <laughs> oh, I mean, you're still in the prime. Right? But like, what sort of things do you do to, you know, stay ready, take care of your body, be healthy, and all that stuff? Um, just knowing what works for me, just activating certain muscles, and you know, getting stretched, to get in the weight room, putting in my shots. Just knowing my routine. Uh, I'm sure to change over the next few years as I you know, get older and as I get more experience. And you know, working with a new staff that we have here, and the training room has been uh, been amazing. So just. Figuring out my routine has been fun. This new trainer, I know he's the one that kind of helped Steve maybe extend yeah. his career. Have you, yeah. how much have you talked to him 
about you know that type of stuff? Yeah, when we hired him, Steve uh, called me right away and told me um, how much he, uh, he'll help me as a player. You know, think about the stuff that I really never thought about. You know, you know, from a movement perspective, from a activation, muscle perspective, just everything. Man. I think it's perfect timing for me. You were talking about some of those last year, I remember, like 29th birthday. When did you start thinking about, or your body started saying, hey, you need to stretch more and that type of thing? Uh, I mean, I, I felt like once I played so many games, like mid-20s, 26, 27, you, know, you start to feel your body talking to you a little bit, you know, and after a game, after a practice, and, you know, so you just try to figure out what that means. And, you know, I've just been getting better at that, just knowing my body over the years. How long do you think you'd want to play? I mean, when you look around at 30, 40, can you see yourself playing that forever? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. Maybe like 32, 33. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like just your game, there's so many skills to it. It's fundamentally sound that like as you get older, you can still rely on those to be effective. Where do you see that going into play? Uh, yeah, just, uh, just, I mean, man, I feel like I'm tw 18 years in my first camp, in my last camp, when y'all asked me about my <laughs> age. Um, but I just think that uh, just keep working on all parts of my game, just especially like the shooting, dribbling, passing, and just the fundamentals. And like you said, it'll last for a long time. And that's what the game is kind of built on is the fundamentals. And if I add on to what I have already, I think I'll be in good shape. How much it, did you enjoy or appreciate the defensive recognition you got last year, both for the all-defensive team? For a while there, there was talk about defensive player of the year. Yeah. I mean, what did that mean to you? And what does it mean to you going into this season having built something, to build something on that? No, I just want to be able to, <clears throat> You know, guard every position and with effort and energy as much as I can and be there for my teammates. Um, and all that other stuff will fall in line after that. Um, but I just try to be there for them every night. Um, you know, just try to be on the string with my, with my teammates on the defense side of the ball. I think, um, you know, we know exactly what we want out of every possession. You know, I think that's good to know. I mean, you know, you want to force a certain shot or force a guy a certain way. And if he makes shots, then cool. Um, tap them on the butt and keep walking. Um, but just knowing what you want out there, I think it's made it easier um, on all of us as defenders. Knowing so that you're going to be out there a lot of times with the youngsters, Kavon, DJ, Jordan, would that make a difference for you defensively? Just knowing <coughs> that you got to be there for those dudes? Uh, I mean, we're there for each other. You know, Loon is great at switching, Jordan is too. DJ is very athletic, and you know, we're looking forward to seeing how he uh, plays with the, the switching and the different schemes. Um, so I think we just we're all on one string. I, I don't think it's one guy that's just you know doing everything on the defensive side of the ball. Obviously, you got possessions where Draymond is flying around, but I think for the most part we're all on one string. Steve you, said that uh, that Damian's probably going to start in the first preseason game, and Clay said that he's been impressed by DJ's uh, aggressiveness and early in the offseason. What have you seen from him? And how do you how are you going to approach it, the game going knowing that he's going to start alongside you? No, I'm just saying. I mean, I, I think we are impressed by DJ and his work ethic and how, how much better he's gotten over the last couple of years. And uh, I know he's excited about that opportunity. We are too. You know. I, opportunity to help DJ keep growing and keep getting better. I know he's going to make it easier for our team as well with his athleticism and his um, smarts on the offensive side of the ball. And, you know, once we get the defensive schemes down, and, you know, I think he'll be fine. Hey Kevin, there was a radio interview that was mentioning that, like your skepticism you'd ever be voted for defensive player of the year. Like, what's the reasoning for that as far as what you think might be underappreciated or not given enough credit for? I mean, I don't know. I mean, just thought I had That's how I felt at the moment. Uh, well, how I still feel, but it's my opinion, just like y'all have yours. <clears throat> I felt like that was uh, something that I wanted to, you know, answer the question as honest as I could. Sure. I mean, is it more of just the criticism or specific parts of your defense that you don't think oh, no. are giving um, enough credit for? I Man, we can just move past that. Sure. It's all good. Yeah. You gonna you gonna do anything special Saturday besides the game? No, nah, probably not. Just hang on with my friends. Is that is that tough at times having your birthday? That's always like you know game one of preseason. It seems like it's always dropping at an important time in your profession. Nah, uh, nah. I usually just got good people around me and 
it's always fun every day. So my birthday comes around, they, they just show me extra love, you know, so that's cool for me. It's about enough. It's all I need at that point. You've talked before about how important it was for you to win a championship with a team. You've done it twice now. Is it as satisfying as you thought it would be second time around, or are you still looking for more? I mean, is there is it fulfilling? I don't think we're looking for I don't think any any player in this league is looking for uh, well, I'm gonna just speak for myself. I'm not looking for basketball to just satisfy me or fulfill me as a person. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, I love the game, I love to play. Championships and experience was the best thing I've been through so far in my life. But I wasn't expecting that to heal any problems I had growing up or what I've been going through by myself. Like, I wasn't looking for that to mask anything. I got to face that on my own, so. My next question following that is that, does that, does your basketball accomplishments help you come into focus things beyond basketball and see them clearly and, and just with a, be a better sense of perspective? Because, you know, you can do all these things in basketball, but they don't always affect what goes on in your real life. No, I just think playing for a team that's selfless and that cares about each other taught me so much about that. That's fulfilled me more than anything. Uh, I think that's uh, my cup has been full of being here. Just knowing that uh, you can walk in here and be yourself. Um, no judgment, uh, just all love. I think that's more fulfilling than anything. And the championship is a cherry on top. Can, how, how satisfying to know that even after three championships,